Bridget Carlos. Hey, congratulations for Cheeky. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> more, more importantly, a congratulations that this is being showcased at the Sundance Film Festival. So uh, tell, tell us uh, how exciting that this is uh, being shown over, over there for, for the audiences that starts today. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, you know, an honor and a privilege and, and really, you know, the highest, you know, thing in my, in my career as a, as a filmmaker, you know, I've been doing this for 14 years. Um, I've done features, I've done shorts, I've done documentaries. And, you know, this is the first thing uh, that I've done that, you know, is finally, you know, put uh, myself and my crew and everyone who's been with me along the way, uh, the first uh, foot in the door and we, we plan to make the most out of it. How did you feel, Bridget? Oh my God. I mean, this is the biggest thing also in my career, also in the United States, which is like a gigantic like world for me in acting. And I admire so many people from this festival. So I never thought that I would be able to be part of it. And like, come on, I'm just like digesting and still like, <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> so, so Carlos said, uh tell us what sparked you to uh, do this uh, this series um i understand it's a it's a true story yeah so cheeky is based off the the true life story of my parents immigration from colombia to the united states in 1987 um you know growing up i was just you know always fascinated with my mother's stories of her and my father's first you know years first years in the country and the way that my mother would tell particular stories, I was just, you know, always enthralled by them. And on top of that, you know, um, being some, being a kid of the late 80s and the early 90s, you know, my parents had photo albums with uh, film photographs and Polaroid photographs of themselves as younger people. And I was just always so fascinated uh, on the, the world that these, these photographs, you know, that, that they, they contained. And that's just something, you know, uh, something about like the film age and the digital age where there's just something about celluloid and something about film that just evokes this, not only just inherent nostalgia, but this, this, this other world. Like I'm looking at, at, at ghosts sounds a little morbid, but I'm looking at, you know, the, these fragments of people that existed during this time. There's just something so palpable about it, which is also the decision that wh why we shot Super 16 millimeter is to you know try to evoke this nostalgia but also evoke the the essence and the sentimentality of that time and so you know and this is also you know um in my last the last five years of my career i've been focusing on making autobiographical stories my last work scenes from a breakup was a work of auto fiction essentially about myself and uh, about you know um where i was in this juncture in my life right around the time that i met actually bridget um, we, we all <laughs> used to work at this restaurant called the River Cafe in, in the, uh, underneath the Brooklyn Bridge. And we we're all just uh, aspiring actors and artists and dreamers. And um, so I think I've found a lane where I'm able to express myself um, artistically and cathartically. Wow. And Bridget, why, why, why did you want to do uh, something like this? I mean, th this is a well, quite I different for a lot of people. Quite what? I'm sorry? Quite di different for, for a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, I'm an immigrant also, so I felt so identified by that. And like my parents came the same moment and that there was a lot of immigration from Colombia to the United States, everything that was happening over there. And also there is another type of story about Colombia. I'm like really interesting to promote different content about Colombia. And I just, I mean, I'm not saying that what it is right now, it's bad. It's just just one thing and there's more stories about Colombia that are really interesting and it doesn't have to be with the same thing that we always see about our country so I was very interested to do that I felt very identified with her with the struggle with the language and how funny is that like it's a very comic like comedic situations with people and like uh, the culture and how hard it is to immigrate to a new country with a different completely language so a lot of things were so interesting. And of course the 80, the eighties are like my favorite, like <laughs> music, like mo like everything is so good for me. So, yeah. Well, then, then, then let me follow up with this, uh, Bridget. Uh, how, how challenging was to play the character of Cheeky knowing that it was based off a real person and your director's mother? Yes, it was. I I would say that it was actually amazing, the, the process, because it's rare to have the opportunity to actually meet the character that you're like, that's 
something weird for an actor to have the opportunity to just actually meet the character that your story is based uh, on it. But also it was great to talk to her and everything and like talk to Carlos and understand what he wanted to like show. And um, and just like what actually was her motivation more than like mimic her or like how she moves and that which is actually pretty funny and very interesting. So it's like there's a lot of comedy here because are like expressions from the 90s, not just from her, from people that I know in Colombia that are like, oh my God, this is like my uncle doing this thing. So I'm just going to use this that she's doing and like her energy that's just so big and like all the tensions for me. So it was amazing. I didn't find it as a challenge. I actually found it as a great tool as an actor to like, you you have everything there. So you take what is better for your character and create your own character also, not just, I mean, it's based on her, but like your interpretation of her also in the story, the entire thing. Wow. And <laughs> and, Car and Carlos, um, I'm, I'm I'm curious on this part is uh, when when you wanted to do uh, this uh, this series, uh, how did you approach your telling your parents about this? Um, you know, I I just sort of said, uh, "Mom, Dad, I'm making a movie about you," and they're like, <laughs> "Oh, okay." My mother was she was she was just ecstatic about it. She loved it. Um, I think a lot of it had to do with just you know. She, because my, my mother uh, was like in the pilot, she was uh, uh, an airline, a flight attendant for Avianca. But before that, she had aspirations uh, in journalism. She wanted to be a journalist when she was a kid. So um, for her to, 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 to have, you know, her son finally tell her story, I think she was just like, yes, like this is, you know, outside of, you know, outside of everyone, you know, most people would be just out of, you know, in, in excited to have their story told my mom, my mother was very much just like, yes, like, you know, we, like, I have a particular unique perspective. Um, I'm, you know, she has always considered herself very different from um, her uh, generation of Colombian uh, women. And so um, she was like, yeah, this is, you know, I, I completely support you. Uh, my father, on the other hand, you know, he's, he's a little more reserved kind of person. So, mm -hmm. but he's, of course, very supportive of what we've been doing. But um, it's just interesting how both of them have a different um, take on their own stories and their own narratives, because a lot of, of Cheeky is really kind of based off my mother's stories and of course my father as well. So um, it's, it's sort of, uh, you know, his story is sort of filtered not only through Cheeky, but then filtered through me from a, a, from a, a narrative cinematic lens. Um, but in all, they're, they, they're, very, they're very supportive of it and they love it. Most excellent. And right now, um, let me wrap this up. Uh, a pilot episode has been filmed, but you have an entire story that, uh, where where we haven't seen yet. Yeah. So basically, so essentially, Cheeky, um, the pilot that's being screened at Sundance, is what would be the first three episodes in the first season of the show. So it's a consolidated uh, version of of it. But yes, there's a there's an entire season and a second season um, that we have um, already outlined and you know ready ready to present to whoever uh, you know wants to house us as a series. Most excellent. Well, hey. Thank you very much uh, for speaking to us about Tiki. Congratulations once again. Thank you. And I'm, and I'm sure Thank you so everyone much. is actually going to love it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much.